Hello again everyone, welcome back to another video on my channel, what you're watching. So, uh, Spider-Man No Way Home, still blowing up in cinemas. I did a review on that, be sure to check it out. It's a really good movie, tapped into a lot of the stuff that, that, that it had built up for a while. I enjoyed it, and also somebody said that they decided to watch the movie after checking out my video review so I'm really happy about that that I got somebody to to watch something good now we I'm gonna look at something here that is a little troubling in in the sense that this is sort of the kind of thing that Marvel and some of these people do and some of these actors that start to cause a serious problem for these movies. Let me look into it right here, as you can see. So, Marissa Tomei, that's the woman who play Aunt May, reveals she wanted to make Aunt May homosexual in Spider-Man franchise. And actress Marissa Tomei recently claimed she pitched an idea to make Aunt May a homosexual in the Spider-Man franchise. Let me see what she got here. Where it is. Right. I feel that their relationship, she spoke, she's speaking about relationship between she and Happy is more off than on. I think they're friends. They get along. There's a true camaraderie and they and they are both invested in Peter so much. But I think it was just like they are stuck together. It's like being on a desert, on a desert island, right? There's no one else they can talk to right now. They like each other enough, you know, blah, blah, blah. Let's get to the then thing. Tommy then revealed she pitched a homosexual Aunt May. At one point, I really, this was before even the idea of happy showed up. There was a moment when I felt that me, maybe she should just be with a woman because Ben is gone. And who should she be with? And we were kind of talking about it, so I actually really wanted Amy Pascal from Sony to be my girlfriend, she said. Tommy then described how she pitched the homosexual Aunt me. I was like, no one even has to know. Amy, I'll just be in a. Amy and I'll just be in a scene, and you'll be over there, and I'll just be like, hey, it'll just be a subtle thing. To me, then added, no one went for it at the time. I wonder why. You see, now, honestly, honestly, I am surprised that they didn't do it because this is just the kind of nonsense that marvel dc hollywood on the whole is into right now this is just the kind of nonsense they love to do they don't think about whether or not anybody likes this whether anybody wants to see it whether anybody cares they just want to do this now, I, I understand as an actress, you want to, you know, explore your roles and try different things. But if you want to have a relationship with a woman, that is your business. But clearly, you're not understanding the purpose of these characters. There was a time when actresses and actors used to have to sit down and study the role be dedicated to it, bring that character to life. Now, that gone out the door. Personally, I always liked Aunt May as a as an older woman. I find it had a certain cement into that fact. And Marissa told me she looked like about, you know, late 30s, early 40s, somewhere so in the movie. Okay, fine. But you're taking away the very essence of these characters. And you're not understanding that. Because Aunt May has always been kind of a connection to Uncle Ben. That has always been something that has always glued Peter to, un to Uncle Ben, 
who he lost because of, you know, fine. I know people go say, well, you know, this is a different Marvel Universe, it's MCU, and they have different things. That have nothing to do with it. These characters were never that way. Changing them is not going to make it any better. You're just going to mess it up. And keep in mind now, a couple of years back, Andrew Garfield, when he was playing Spider-Man, he even talked about making Peter a, 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 a bisexual or gay or something like that. And I was like, you know, you even have you ever actually read any of this? Do you even know anything about these characters? And, and you're talking about a, a, a character, a hero who has had numerous love interests with different women. Mary Jane is who he's married to, or all these sort of things. And you're talking about, hey, let's just make him, you know, bisexual or gay because. This, when these things happen, it shows these, these people just not interested anymore in this nonsense. This is not a character who has ever been like that and you just suddenly want to do it because you feel like it. And you're saying, well, you know, as you say here, it was like no one even has to know or it should just be a, a not a big thing. Of course, it's a big thing. That's not the way this character was created. That's not the way this character was shaped. That's not the meaning. That's not the drive. That's not the purpose of this character. And when you push these things in, that is what it becomes about. It should be about telling the story. It should be about the character. It should be about world building. It should be about entertainment. But no, these Hollywood so-and-sos just want to tick boxes. That's all they're interested in. Just ticking boxes. Hey, let's make this person gay, tick. Let's make this person bisexual, tick. Let's make this person transgender, tick. And so they're going. And God forbid you have a problem with it. Anytime you have a problem with it, you're, 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 you're labeled as a bigot, as a hater, anti-LGBTQ+, plus whatever, and worse. They just come down on you because you are supposed to be in support of this, even though they're going out of their way to ruin good characters. Why? Because they just don't care. They don't care. They're doing it in the comics, they're doing it in the movies, they're doing it in the TV shows, and it's not going to stop. I mean, they have a female Thor movie coming out, Thor, Love and Thunder, you know, and they made a big thing of announcing that uh, Valkyrie is is um is supposed to be bisexual or gay or something before the movie even comes out. That's the first thing you're leading with. You haven't told us anything about 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 what's going to happen, how this person's going to become so, what the movie's going to be about. No, the first thing that you have to mention is that Valkyrie is going to be gay and then you're going to talk about how it's going to have the movie name is Thor, Love and Thunder. What are we supposed to expect? What are we supposed to expect? Not to mention Marvel have other things coming up. They have She-Hulk, they have um, America Chavez, these kind of things. You know what they're going to start to put into it. It's not interested in making these, these stories, these things interesting and enjoyable and something that wants to grip fans no you just want to check boxes and say okay we did this we made this person this way we do that in that way and you have to watch it because if you don't like it you're a hater this aunt may is aunt may leave aunt may alone and when you throw in these ideas because i'm telling you again i'm honestly surprised they didn't do this in the movie because this seems like exactly the kind of thing they would try right now. This is what it is. It's not going to stop. They're going to keep trying to find ways and they're going to keep failing. So all I could say to Marissa Tome, you know, play the roles you want to play. But when you're playing iconic characters like this, don't talk about nonsense like that now. It's not, it's not, it's not going to work. Ever.
As usual, if you like my channel, be sure to give this video a like, hit the thumbs up, and subscribe if you haven't already. Turn on your notifications so every time I post new videos, you'll be notified. Let me know in the comments what you think about this. And I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.